Hey everyone, it's Yuto from SuchRecipes.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious Japanese style pork and vegetable stir fried called buta no yasai itame. This recipe takes about 30 minutes and serves two, so let's get straight to it. Start by heating a wok on medium and once it's hot, add a drizzle of oil The first thing we want to do is cook the pork. I'm using 100 grams of thinly sliced pork belly, but it's up to you which part you use. I also lightly season it with a pinch of salt and pepper. Add two cloves of thinly sliced garlic and fry those together until the pork is sealed. Once it looks like this, we add 50 grams of sliced onion, 50 grams of shimeji mushrooms, 50 grams of carrot cut into thin strips, and 15 grams of ginger also cut into thin strips. Stir fry them all together until slightly softened. The reason we add the carrots and onions first is because they take longer to cook than the other vegetables we use today. We also want the taste of the ginger to be softened and the umami in the mushroom to be released. Ok, once it looks like this, add 100 grams of roughly chopped cabbage and 50 grams of thinly sliced bell pepper. Stir fry this for about a minute or so. I've prepared all my vegetables in advance to speed things up. If you need a list of ingredients on how they should be cut, I'll put everything you need in the description. You can also check out the full written recipe on my blog. Next we add 100 grams of bean sprouts and stir fry for one more minute. Once it looks like this, you can make the sauce. I'm going to make it straight in the wok, so first I pour in 100ml of Chinese chicken soup stock and then add 1 teaspoon of soy sauce, 2 teaspoons of oyster sauce, half a teaspoon of salt and 2 teaspoons of light brown sugar. Simply mix it around to combine all the flavours. Once it mixed thoroughly, add about 30 grams of Chinese chives and mix again. Finally, I add a slurry made with 1 tablespoon of potato starch mixed with 1 tablespoon of cold water. This is just going to thicken the sauce and help it stick to the meat and vegetables. If you don't have potato starch, you could use cornstarch instead. Simply continue to stir fry until the sauce is thick enough, then it's ready to serve. For finishing touch, I add a drizzle of sesame oil, a sprinkle of sesame seeds and some chilli threads. And that's it, delicious butayasai itame with a variety of vegetables in a rich sauce best served with rice. Thanks so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video feel free to like it and if you're interested in learning more tasty Japanese recipes be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hope to join me again in the next video, thanks again.